Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I've been adding a few features to my procedural generator. I work all weekend on it and I've been making a lot of progress as you can see on the screen that you're looking at right now. This is basically, there's two different generators. So I want to walk you through some of the components and, and what I added. So the, the first thing that I think is really important to know is now I can set up multiple buildings and that was something that I I didn't really have before I could only do one and it wasn't keeping the position of each independent piece correctly so now if I go here and I were to you know make a change to the generator I can I can actually apply it to you know to the one that is selected so progen it's going to be the component that has the procedural in what I call progen the procedural generator script and then you know it's going to use the position that I have selected to basically place all the tiles so if I go here and I wanted to add more floors, I could add more floors. I still have an issue where some of the components, the rooms are not getting deleted correctly. So you might see me from time to time trying to delete them because they don't get deleted correctly. And I know what the issue is. I just haven't had time to fix it. As you can see right now, the, it doesn't just look right because it didn't clean up some of the tiles, but it's okay. We'll just go ahead and, and delete it manually for now. And then I'll show you once I have the fix of what I need to do so let me go ahead and I'm gonna collapse both of them so that I don't delete so this is what I've been doing for now until I until I figure that out and normally it's because when it's running in the editor if you run in runtime that's not gonna happen but all, all I can do here is just you know type in a number and then it's gonna get regenerated so let's go ahead and look at some of the options that I have in addition to the you know being able to actually position them independently so the some of the things that I added if we look at the inspector is I added a lot of different prefabs so I have the wall simple that I showed you before now I can also specify multiple roof and I'm going to look at let's go ahead and look at the roof example so I'm just gonna go ahead and just go ahead and not save this and then I'm gonna hit play and then we're gonna be looking at, at this example right here it's gonna start changing because I have a randomizer maybe I have a randomizer I thought I did and oh no i didn't add it that's okay so i'll show you what that is in, in just a minute so if we look at some of the components here i have you know like i said a wall simple i also have an array of roofs and the reason why i did that is because i want it to be more dynamic so i didn't want just a boring roof like this i wanted to have a roof that was you know that was going to be changing let's go ahead and focus in here and see if we can if we can look at it from a closer from a closer view so I wanted these views to be dynamic and, and I didn't want to always be placing the the same roof. So in this case, if we go, let me go into the game view. If we look at it, we have a roof, a roof simple and that roof simple is going to be just a very simple tile that you can see here. So if I go, if I go and place, you know, if I want to place a different one, just like you see here, a roof with AC, this one has an AC and, and I just have a variety of different roofs. So this one has an AC. I have one that has two different ACs. I also have one that has the, I think I have an AC, but it's a different type of AC. It's a tall AC, maybe for, for a bigger family. I also have a roof with a solar at rest. So I wanted to do, you know, solar panels and, and, and do something more modern. So I included a solar panel in there. And also a roof with a water tank. So. I see a lot of houses in apartments that have water tanks on the top. So I wanted to include one that was just like it. So this is an example of that. Let's go ahead and go back. So now if I want to regenerate this, we can go ahead and go into game. And I want to show you the reason why I did this scene specifically so that I could show you how this would regenerate the, the actual roof. And it actually regenerates everything because this is the procedural scene for everything so you can see that the placement is different for you know every time i click on the generate button and i i i don't have uh basically a percentage of of each one of these i could do that in the future i was thinking about that meaning that i you know i would place these you know maybe 20 percent of the time this one 10 percent of the time and i might do that i might just calculate some of these up and then give them a percentage and then based on that percentage i could place you know, I could weigh them. I could say, okay, this one is weight more versus this one. That way we can have more roof, roof simple versus roof with AC. So that's how some of that calculation would look like if we 
where to do. I have something like that for the windows. So I'll show you that next. So the next option that I added is I, I don't always want to add dynamic roof. I may want to only add the first one. So that's what this option is. If I uncheck it, it's always gonna be the first one that I add. So if I were to go here and let's say that I add solar panels and we want everything to be a solar panel, then you can see that that gives us that option. So I can go back and then just do the simple roof. There we go. And then you can see how easy it is to just change things. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it I because I had a lot of fun building it. So I hope you enjoy watching, watching me do weird experiments. So the other piece that I added is I also wanted to add different windows. So we have some windows that are open. We have some windows that are closed. We have some windows that are simple. We have some windows that have a balcony. So the same thing, same idea here. I have three different ones. One of them is a window simple. And if we go to that, you can we go ahead and click on the scene view. You can see that's just a basic window. If I go to the balcony one, that's just a very basic. And if you wonder how I actually model these, you can model these with Blender. You can model them with, you know, with Unity, just like I did. You can make more, you know, sophisticated windows. And, and I'm going to do that in, the, in, a, in a future video where we build something more in depth. For now, it's just going to be, you know, most, mostly it's just cubes. And then I also have a window that is open. So if we go and look at the window that is open, you can see that we have an opening here. And I think that one that one was open. Let me, it doesn't look like it's open. And I thought it was, maybe I, I, I'm confused between the closed one and, oh, that's what I did. I have them named incorrectly, so I'll fix that in just a minute. So let's go ahead and go back and then, yeah, I'll fix that later. So, so that's how this scene works. It's just, you know, taking a look at the, the actual roof and seeing how that is dynamic. So the same thing here for the for the windows. If I only want to play simple windows, we can uncheck this. And now you're gonna see that everything is just you know a flat window. Now if I want to that make it procedural, then I can just check that box. Then the doors are very simple. I didn't do what I did here. I might do an array as well, because we may have different doors, but I'll show you that. Let's go ahead and open up another scene so I can show you how the doors look like. Let's go ahead and look at see tall buildings. And by the way, I have a lot of different examples here because I wanted to give you many buildings isometric. Let's see, I wanted to give you different examples so that you guys could, you know, try the generation differently. Let's, and then a dark day. We can look at the dark day. I think this one is a, this one is a cool scene. I was playing with, you know, different colors and you can see blooms and basically just, you know, for the windows and see what we can get. Let's actually pick one that it's much simpler because I don't want it to, it, it slows down the system a little bit. So this one is cool. This one is, you know, I have I have a variety of things in here. I have some balconies that are coming out. I have, you know, this, this is just basically a one by, let's see, a one by six. And uh, actually it's not, it's, yeah, it is a one by six. And, and it's as tall as three, six, nine, ten, so ten floors. And so if we go ahead and look at that building, just so that I don't get carried out with, with different ideas. So, so we were looking at these options, right? We look at the roof prefabs, we look at the window prefabs. And like I said, this one is for the doors. I just kept it really simple. It's just a door simple. If I click on that, it's just, you know, but I'm going to, I have another one that I added already with different, you know, with two lights. I just haven't used that one yet. And, but that one is under prefabs. If you want to look at it, I can just double click on this and go into scene and you can see that I have two lights. I just wanted to, to see how lights will look like. So so that's another one, I just haven't randomized it yet. And if we go back into, into my hierarchy, let's go back here and look at the, oh, let's go back into game. And let me go ahead and make sure that I center this correctly. At least we can zoom out and I'll just do something like that so it's easier to see. All right, let's go back to the random generation so so we looked at the door simple and then i can also tell the system if i want to include a roof or not remember that issue that i have the runtime issue that i need to fix i need to do the same thing on this one it's going to delete that and then i'm going to just change the percentage here and then it'll just rebuild it so if we look at the include roof if i don't want a roof then we don't want a roof right and then i can include that if i don't want inside walls i can remove inside walls looks like i have an issue here and a transform that i have to fix so, so there's just a lot of things that I can do. So if, if we go back to rows, 
and I showed you in the previous videos that this one is called now rows and columns and that just allows me it's just easier to to deal with and there we go now if I want to randomize rows and randomize columns I'm gonna show you that as well and then I also show you this one that I can change the number the cell unit size it actually makes it look like you have multiple like multiple apartments and then I can also change of course the number number of floors so let's go ahead and focus let's go ahead and go into one scene that I have let's look at tall buildings and so this is the one that I had before that's not the one that I want to that I want to look at I want to look at something like this or two buildings with balconies let's go ahead and look at this one and then we'll just clear everything out and I want to show you another component that I also have yeah this one has it so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna search for room and then we'll just clean them all up that way and then I'll just run the 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 game so that you guys can see what's gonna happen so and then I'm gonna collapse the progen and then we're gonna focus on the progen randomizer I'm gonna hit play and then we're gonna see what's gonna happen and this is not aligned well so let's go ahead and go back and we can go there we go something like I think something like that works so so what is it what is happening why are they changing and they're changing because I'm up I'm randomizing the the property so if we go and click on the progen and go down you're gonna see that these sliders are gonna start to move automatically and that's because I have a timer on the on a randomizer that I have right here so let's go ahead and focus on one I think if we focus on let's go ahead and uncheck this one and I want to focus on I think I think this is the one that it's the tall one if not we'll pick the other one yeah this is the one that I want to look at all right so we're gonna we're just gonna look at this and I'm gonna hit play and then we're gonna be changing some of the values in in runtime so as you can see some some of the structure is changing I have a lot of randomization the the roof are changing balconies are changing so if we go here and we look at some of the parameters that I have this is so that I can change these, you know, every so often, and it allows me to, you know, if I'm testing, it makes it easier for me to, to see changes. So let's say that I wanted to change the minimum of rows, and we want to do a one by, and just do one by three. You can see that now it's staying between, you know, one to two rows. If I want to do the same thing with columns, we can just bring this number down. I can bring it all the way up, and then we're gonna have a, a random number from one to twenty. Or we can do you know we can make skinny buildings we can do something like that we can also change how many floors we have if I want to go you know higher than that or if I want to just go really tiny and we can just stay between two to three six floors you can see how that's changing if I want to change the unit size we can change the unit size you can see now we're getting two to three buildings so this is just a really fun way to you know to actually you know test your structures if I want to also randomize the roof if, if I need to include the roof or not then that it's going to allow us to do that so I think I was gonna I was gonna do a code review and so that we can look at the code but I, I think it's gonna be I'm gonna do that on the next video but the other thing that I want to do is I want to run through some of these scenes that I have here so that you guys can see what I have and then let's go ahead and focus so this one is a dark day I like I said before this is so that I can look at the structures from the dark and see how they look at dark and this one is also I thought I had randomization on them looks like I don't but you know if I wanted to add randomization it's as easy as just changing just adding a component I can click on this and then look for the project randomizer if I look at the pro randomizer and I change this to like 0.5 you're gonna see that now we're starting to get some changes and again I wouldn't need to delete everything that I have but that's how I apply that script you can see this scene is one of them that I have in the examples and let's look at the many buildings isometric so why do I have so many scenes is because I'm going to be having this code available in patreon and then it's going to be available for everyone in github so this one is one that I just wanted to have a lot of different buildings I have multiple project components attached so and then it's just really cool to see you know the diversity of of changes that I get on the buildings is a tall building a short building and then we have so many mini buildings around and I live in an area that there's a lot of buildings like this too not, not as tall as this one but mini buildings so it's kind of where that came from and if you look at random floors 
this one is a fun one that I think I need to I think I need to run this one so that I can I can show you and I think it's better if I show you the code once we have once we have everything you know once I have everything clean up like the removal of the rooms this is another thing that I also had is randomized rows and columns what this means is that we're not gonna have fits uh, columns and rows as you can see here I have you know I only have two and then this one has about five different rows where in the if I uncheck this it's just gonna be now uh, an actual fit size so I can do that the same thing with columns now these are straight these are actually fixed if I if I check these they're gonna be variable and and the cool thing with that though is I can now start creating a diversity of buildings and I can do the same thing with this it just gives me more flexibility when it comes to you know building and if I want something like you know boring and it's just just normal then then I can do that right so this is another one of those scenes let's go ahead and move on to to one more here so this one is the random floors I can also go I show you the roof one that one looks really cool this is so that I can focus on the on the actual roof I can also look at all buildings and I believe I show you this one before this is just one of them that I built initially it looks like I have an issue that I need to fix this one is just a very simple one where I just wanted to show a flat one and then also a tall one and then this one right here it's gonna be one that has balconies so it's just two buildings with different balconies and they're just you know changing procedurally because I have the project randomizer assigned so that's everything that I wanted to show you guys if you guys have any questions about anything that I have please let me know and also be sure that I'm gonna I'm going to be releasing this code in patreon and also in github open source to everyone at some point in the near future thank you guys